Dear beloved faithful followers of Kursit, welcome back to Housing Our Faith channel. In the shadow of a rapidly changing world, the signs of the times are becoming increasingly clear. The Bible, long revered as the ultimate guide to life and faith, foretold of a time when the world would face unparalleled challenges, a time when the very foundations of society would shake and the hearts of many would grow cold. Today, we stand on the precipice of these prophesied events, witnessing the unfolding of warnings given to us thousands of years ago. This is not a distant or speculative future. These prophecies are happening now, and their implications are both terrifying and hopeful for those who choose to see the truth. The first of these critical prophecies is the rise of false prophets and the spread of deception. Scripture warns us that in the last days, many will come in the name of Christ, claiming to be the Messiah or bearing messages supposedly from God, but their words are laced with lies. Matthew 24 verse 24 foretells this vividly. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Today, we see a proliferation of voices claiming divine inspiration, yet leading countless souls astray. From charismatic leaders preaching prosperity gospel to spiritual gurus who dilute the truth with New Age philosophies, the world is awash with false prophets. They promise peace, happiness, and success, but offer only spiritual emptiness and confusion. The very fabric of truth is being torn apart, leaving a void where faith once stood. Consider the rise of global movements that preach a gospel of self-empowerment and materialism. These teachings, though cloaked in the language of light and positivity, reject the core of the Christian faith, the cross, repentance, and the need for a savior. Instead, they place man at the center, idolizing human potential over divine will. This deception is subtle yet powerful, drawing millions into a spiritual dead end. The recent surge in occult practices disguised as wellness and self-care is another example. Practices once shunned as dangerous are now embraced as mainstream, leading many down a dark path far removed from God's truth. The second prophecy we're witnessing is the dramatic moral decline and widespread apostasy, where once strong believers turn away from the faith. The Apostle Paul warned of this in 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3, stating, Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come, unless the rebellion comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction. The moral fabric of society is unraveling at an alarming rate. Values that were once universally held, such as the sanctity of marriage, the protection of the unborn, and the importance of truth, are now under relentless attack. The world glorifies what was once considered shameful and condemns what was once honored. We see this moral inversion in the celebration of lifestyles and practices that the Bible clearly identifies as sinful. The rise in movements advocating for radical redefinitions of gender, marriage, and life itself exemplifies this shift. What was once seen as deviant is now heralded as courageous, and those who hold fast to biblical teachings are labeled as intolerant or hateful. This moral decay is not just a social issue, it is a spiritual crisis. Churches that once stood as bastions of truth are now succumbing to the pressure to conform to the world's standards. Many have abandoned the gospel of repentance and forgiveness, replacing it with messages that cater to the desires of the flesh. This apostasy is a direct fulfillment of prophecy and a sobering reminder that we are living in the times foretold by scripture. Real world examples abound Entire denominations are splitting over issues of biblical interpretation and moral teaching. In some cases, churches have embraced doctrines that directly contradict scripture, leading their congregations into spiritual confusion. The societal acceptance of practices like abortion, once unthinkable, is now defended as a right, further illustrating the depth of our moral decline. The prophecy of a great falling away is unfolding before our very eyes, as people increasingly reject God's commandments in favor of their own desires. 
The third and perhaps most ominous prophecy is the coming of the Mark of the Beast, symbolizing a system of global control that will dominate every aspect of life. Revelation 13 verses 16 to 17 describes this chilling reality. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads, so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. This prophecy speaks of a future where economic and social systems are so intertwined with a central authority that no one will be able to participate in the economy without allegiance to this power. While the exact nature of this mark remains a topic of much speculation, the groundwork for such a system is already being laid. The rise of digital currencies, biometric identification, and global surveillance technologies is paving the way for unprecedented control over individuals' lives. In some parts of the world, digital IDs are already linked to social credit systems, where compliance with government regulations is rewarded and dissent is punished. These systems, though not yet fully realized, have the potential to be used for coercive control on a global scale. Consider the recent push towards cashless societies, where all transactions are tracked and monitored. While convenient, this shift also opens the door to a level of surveillance and control that would have been unimaginable just a few decades ago. Governments and corporations can now monitor, restrict, and manipulate financial activities with alarming precision. The potential for abuse is enormous, especially in the hands of those who seek to enforce conformity through economic means. In addition to economic control, the rise of AI and advanced surveillance technologies means that privacy is becoming a relic of the past. From facial recognition software to biometric data collection, the tools for a totalitarian regime are being assembled piece by piece. As these systems become more integrated and pervasive, the possibility of a global authority demanding allegiance in exchange for the ability to participate in society grows ever closer. The prophetic warning about the mark of the beast is no longer a distant future. The technology and systems that could enable it are being developed today. The fulfillment of these prophecies should stir us to urgent action. The signs are clear and the time is short. We cannot afford to be complacent or indifferent to the spiritual battle raging around us. Now more than ever, we must cling to the truth of God's word and resist the deceptions that seek to lead us astray. This is a call to spiritual vigilance. We must guard our hearts against the lies of false prophets and the allure of a world that is rapidly turning away from God. We must stand firm in our faith, even as the world around us falls into moral chaos. The forces of darkness are working tirelessly to ensnare as many souls as possible, but we have the light of Christ to guide us through these dark times. It is also a call to prayer and repentance. The moral decline we see around us is a reflection of a deeper spiritual sickness. As believers, we are called to be salt and light in a decaying world. This means we must not only live out our faith with integrity, but also intercede for those who are lost. We must pray for revival in our churches, for the return of those who have wandered from the faith, and for the strength to endure the trials that are to come. Finally, this is a call to readiness. The prophecies we see unfolding are not meant to scare us, but to prepare us. Jesus warned us of these times so that we would not be caught off guard. We must be ready for his return, living each day with the expectation that he could come at any moment. This means living holy lives, being faithful in our witness, and keeping our eyes fixed on the hope that is before us. The prophecies are happening now. The question is not whether we see the signs, but whether we are prepared to face them. Let us take these warnings seriously and commit ourselves fully to the one who holds the future in his hands. The time is near. May we be found faithful when he comes.